Hey guys, <clears throat> John here, Motor T-Scale Models. So we're going to take a look at what is going to go on the bench next. <clears throat> so I've had this kit for a little while. Um, this is an AMT Ertl 1955 Chevrolet Nomad. This is the classic series. It's a 125th scale. And it can be built in a couple of different ways, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, it looks like it's a very fun kit. Um, this is, uh, let's see, it's a 2005 RC2 Brands release. Um, but anyway, so it's skill level three. So let's take a look on the inside and see what's inside the box, okay? Now, like I said, this kit can be built in a couple different fashions. So we'll take a look and see which way we want to go with it. So you got your chrome tree, and you got some, some headers that are going to come out. You can have them come out the side of the uh, car or straight out the back. You got, it looks like you got a couple of little Kreger rims there. Um, chrome axle, that's pretty weird. You have your interior, which has a lot of different parts in it. Looks like your shifter, dash, seats, steering wheel, pretty simplistic interior. Alright, so here's another chrome tree. It has a couple more mag rims. Um, some other stuff we'll have to take a look and see. Rims, maybe some torsion bars. You have your undercarriage. All right, so you have a body right here. You got your body. And it looks pretty good. There's a couple places on there that's got a little bit of a rough spot right there. But other than that, for it to be a AMT Ertl, the body looks Looks pretty good. Could use a little bit of a dressing, but I think we can make it work. Now, like I said, you got strange. I may have put that in there from another kit. I don't know. Anyway, here's the this is the interior that came with it. Interior tub. So looks pretty good. You got your hood and it comes with a set of racing seats because like I said, you can do this two different ways. You can do this as a stock Nomad or you can do it as a drag Nomad, which is probably going to be the direction I'm going to go with is the, is the drag version. And on this one you got, I like this because you can have three different positions on your wheels. You can lower your front end, you can raise the front end, that's pretty cool. You have your clear glass. Now here's, here's where it kind of changes. So on this kit, you have this piece right here, which basically you can remove this section right here, add this section, and it makes it basically line up roughly right in this area right here. You can see. So it makes it almost like it's a pickup. A 1955 Chevy Nomad pickup. And this is probably going to be the route I am going to go. So it would set inside like that. That gives you an idea. 
And again, this is probably going to be the route I'm going to go. It's just too cool. You, you, I mean, I have never seen that before. So I am probably going to go that route to where I just got to figure out how I'm going to how I'm going to do it. Um, I mean, there's obviously a way, but like I said, that's probably the direction I'm going to go in. All right. I purchased another set of steering wheels. Um, it's got like a, a little half circle steering wheel, another steering wheel. This is your motor. Interior shifting area column or your uh, shift column, I should say. I also purchased dash decals. We'll go with those. And here's crazy. You got some other seat versions you can go with. Tailgate, if you're going to go that route, you can make it a working tailgate. Um, race helmet. That's pretty awesome. Um, your front assembly there for your uh, A-frames and stuff like that. What else we have in here? More of the rear seat that will lay down. License plate holders. And then you have your wheels here. And it comes with a couple different versions. You have your drag slicks. Or you can go with the standard polyglass tires. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Like I said, uh, the, the decals, it didn't come with a whole lot of decals. You basically just have license plates. So um, that's more we'll work with. But um, the instruction sheet, just like any other instruction sheet, um, it has some good quality uh, drawings and really detailed assembly. You can go with your stock motor or you can go with the drag version motor. Um, it shows you the different types of interiors that you can go with. Um, what else? Different front end assemblies. Whichever direction you want to go on that. Drag version. I wanted to sell oh, right here. So this is apparently what you're going to have to do. As you can see right here, you'll have to move a good, remove a good portion of the of the top, which you got to do some measuring and stuff. But I think that'll be pretty fun. And I'll be honest with you, even if you went stock version and made it into a Chevy Nomad truck, I think that would be pretty friggin' awesome. Now it shows you can run, or sh the the thing show the instruction shows to run the drag version with the. Uh, station wagon body style, but I think we run the drag version with the um, custom version. That ought to be pretty daggum cool. Anyway, and that's roughly all for the instructions. Okay, guys, so we're going to jump on this and we're going to get it rolling and figure out what we're going to do. I've got I've got a paint scheme that I've, I've liked that I've got uh, coming in for this kit. I think it's going to make it really look pretty good. Um, again, from here back, I think I'm going to remove. I just got to figure out where we're going to cut it up here, which should not be hard once I get this off the off the tree. Anyway, so that's that's where we're at, guys. Um, we're going to jump on this, and we'll see where we are from there. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. All right, guys, so <clears throat> working on this kit, it talked about cutting off the rear part of the car, which I did. <clears throat> Cut a little bit more than I needed just to make sure that um, 
when I cut my filler piece that I can trim it down as I need to, which I'm going to use a piece of the top. <clears throat> it should have the right curve to it and everything like that. So we're going to keep working on this and seeing what we can get done, and we will be back with you in a minute. Hey guys. Okay, so I've got the hood mounted on the body, or the, the roof mounted on the body, and it was a bit of a peel. Um, I went ahead and, and used the uh, Tamiya filler putty and bonded it together and then I ended up using some Bondo glazing spot putty and tried to smooth out as best I could. I had a little bit of a ridge across here uh, and I've just been filling in that ridge. We're going to let it kind of uh, set and dry and I'll hit it with a little bit more sanding um, and hopefully we'll be ready to go. Alright guys, I'll talk to you a little bit. Alright guys, <clears throat> So, no matter what I do, I still have that line across, and it just don't want to sand out real smooth. I've sanded and sanded, used a lot of different grits, but it's not working all that great. But, let's see what we can do. Wants to lay down some paint. Let's see if that changes anything. But it is a neat little little concept. So we'll see how she'll go. Hold on. All right, guys. <clears throat> so as you can see, I still have this problem across here. It just ain't gonna go away. So I've tried to think about what I could do. I thought, well, maybe I could do a sticker. I thought about painting this all black, but I still think it's gonna come through. So I really kind of been tossed. I don't. I didn't know really what I could do, you know. Uh, but this piece right here is the back of the 55, and I think I think I can do that and make it work. So we're gonna try it, and we're gonna see if I can get this to work. Not for sure, but we're going to try, and all I'm doing, I just took tape, measured off what I want, and I got my, my scribe, and I'm doing that until I can work my way through it. So, let me finish this up, and I'll be right back with you. Hey, guys. Okay, so, come up with an idea how to cover up that mark that was across my hood right here. And what I did is, obviously I showed you before, is I took the back half that was left over and I cut that off and I got it glued in. Now, I am no body man, not by any means, but uh, I was able to, as you can see, filler putty. The gap, there was a gap that was in there. I used a toothpick, part of a toothpick, and I put it up under there in order to give it a little bit of, of a ridge bar so it would uh, be firm. Uh, Put it in. I'm waiting for this to dry and I'll sand it down. We'll see how good my sanding skills are. Um, by far this isn't going to be uh, show quality work but this is my first time really using uh, body putty um, and um, we'll see how I do but I'm really kind of pleased with the way it turned out. Um, but we'll see. So um, if you guys have suggestions on how to um, do body putty, or not suggestions, but experience, let me know. Um, it's obviously too late for this, but um, that's where we're at. I don't think it looks too bad. Um, we'll get it all... Um, sand it in and smooth it out and see how good a job we can do. Alright guys, we'll talk to you later. Hey guys, <clears throat> John here. So let's take a look and see how it looks. I brought it out of the uh, paint booth and I went with 
Tamiya's metal flake on the bottom with Tamiya gray on top and I think it's not looking too bad if I can get this in here hold on just a sec there we go okay that's not looking too bad at all and then I have the tailgate it is done up so it will look something similar to that and I don't think it looks too bad at all now one thing that I did notice that after this thing is kind of set for a little while I did develop a little bit of a crack up there but you know what heck with it I'm gonna leave it we're gonna live with it um, anyway I think the roof the uh, the top here I think it turned out pretty good considering uh, it was a pretty nasty <clears throat> pretty nasty uh, gouge on the top but I think it turned out fairly well um, this will get painted in the Tamiya also um, did have a little bit of a booger right there but you know what it is what it is so I don't think she looks too bad so far we're going to continue working on it I did notice that this has an opening but that's solid so I had to figure that one out anyway we're going to jump back on this and see where we're at all right guys all right guys so here it is I've got it uh, three coats of clear coat on it and it's not looking too bad at all um, we're going to let it set for a few days and then uh, we'll see if there's any any issues I need to, to deal with and if not uh, you know, maybe hit it with some uh, some polish and we'll go from there so alright guys uh, we'll catch you on the next one